não dá para traduzir nem dá para explicar.
these young girls is exactly why we're here today. Our pioneers open the doors for young girls like that. And now, today, uh, I'd like to introduce uh, many special guests, but to do so, um, I'd like to, to introduce one special person. Uh, a man who embodies Portuguese culture, who stands behind it, very proud, who had a vision to celebrate the 70th anniversary, and today, we brought it to life. So, I'd like to introduce Mr. Manuel Costa, and as we like to call him, O Comendador de Costa. Saw me, Manuel. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm, I'm so pleased. It is an honor for us to be here, and uh, if I have, if I have my my wish, I'd like to do it every year. But you know, from Kelly, she's uh, she, she very graciously her and this allowed us to be here today, and I want to thank her. And I want to thank, I want to ask her to come and. Uh, Say a few words to you um, about this event and about this city. I'm so delighted that we can make this happen, and I can't believe until it's done. Well, obviously, it's been a from the federal government, MP Charles D'Souza and MP Julie Jarowicz. And it was so great on my way in to meet so many wonderful representatives from the Portuguese government that are here joining us today. And I will say, though, that a highlight was meeting Antonio, and I think that we came for a team in Canada, charted the way for all of you, and instead of just paving the door for you, much. Now, uh, you know, you, uh, you see uh, next um, Alejandro Prado, who is the counselor for the board, and uh, she's going to say a few words. For me, it's a great privilege to be here as a variator of Davenport. And as a counselor for Davenport, I know that I represent the historic board, but it's very, really very personal. Because I came to Canada also as a volunteer in my home country of Chile. And I also want to honor that when the Portuguese people ended the dictatorship in the Carnation Revolution, it was an example all over the world. Keep it a subpoena for me that I want to recognize the contributions of that leadership in this fantastic Magellan Community Project. What an honor and a privilege to have that be in my ward. It is a top priority for me to make sure. It's rewarding uh, to see that um, when uh, someone like Alejandra says she'll be working for the Portuguese community, and I, I really appreciate that. We are a country of uh, every ethnicity in the world, and you know, it's a tough job to try and help every ethnicity, every community, but that's in the end, that's. Of the first boat coming uh, from Portugal here to uh, Canada. I went to the Library of Parliament because I wanted to research about the first boat actually coming here. It actually arrived at 11.30 p.m. at night. And what we did is we decided, uh, as Canada, we wanted to form a relation with Portugal, and we started a, a pilot project to try to get Portuguese workers to come to Canada. And so I love this because a lot of our immigration is about pilot projects. And that's how we started with that boat, first boat. But in the ensuing years through this, schools alone in Ontario that are teaching Portuguese language and one of my favorite ones is our uh, first Portuguese cultural center that is in my riding of Davenport so we the Portuguese language is strong we have over 125 Portuguese clubs across this country and it is because of the hard work of the volunteers at each of those Portuguese casas who continue to promote the Portuguese language tradition and culture that now at the national level, we recognize June as Portugal Heritage Month in Canada and June 10th as Portugal Day in Canada. Let's give a huge round of applause to all the Portuguese Canadians who spend their weekdays, their weekends, very 
much promoting the culture. And one of, the, one of my favorite things that our Prime Minister always says is diversity is our strength. And there is no doubt that Canada is a stronger and better country because of the contributions of Portuguese Canadians. So thank you for the first 70 years. Parabéns. I wish much success for the community in the next 70 years. Muito obrigada.
Señora, no se unen, andemos.